thought I'd just briefly share with you guys something you probably don't know about me. I mean, I've mentioned it here and there on my channel about my paintings and stuff like that, but I might just, uh, well, I'll show you. I'll turn the camera around so it's better quality. This one's probably my favourite. I think it took about 75 hours or something like that. It's all done in acrylic paint. And my thing is photorealism. So if it doesn't look like a photo, I'm just not happy with it. <laughs> This one seems a bit random, which it kind of is really, but at the time she was quite popular. I was doing a bit of a black and white series of different artists that were kind of trending. And this next painting is actually from a scene from my absolute favorite TV show ever made. Also Breaking Bad is great as well, but Dexter. If you haven't seen it, at least check out seasons one to four. Very, very classy. This one's actually the odd one out of the whole bunch. And the reason why is because it's the only painting I've ever produced without using a pencil first. Usually I get my pencil outline and I'm you know, perfecting it and trying to get everything right. But this one was just paint straight on the canvas until it looked like that. As you can see, I had a bit of a thing for the Joker, which is quite funny really, because I was never into Batman like some people are or superheroes and things like that. I just love the character and the way he looked and the, the look was so versatile, I, I kind of kept painting him over and over again. And over. And over, and um, and over. And then I thought I'd actually paint Batman because the other one was a little bit lonely. It was half the face, and this was actually a pair with the other black and white one. But now they're kind of separated. Oh. And of course the Terminator. And I've painted quite a few Venice scenes because I've been to Venice quite a few times. It's very picturesque. I've taken countless pictures and so I obviously own the rights to those and so that gave me the opportunity to produce a bunch of paintings that I could potentially sell but these currently reside at my nan's house because <laughs> she's um, a bit of a fan of my, my work, I wonder why. This is probably my second favourite painting I've produced. Again, acrylic on canvas. I did use a pencil for a long time first just to get all of the proportions right all the details right but what I loved about this was mostly the colors they just really popped I like the contrast and all the little details with the chips and the rain and the dents and stuff like that so I do like a challenge yeah very happy with that one There you go, something else that I occasionally get up to behind the scenes. Well, saying that, I haven't painted anything since the Iron Man painting, which was over a year ago now, but I am getting a feeling, you know, that I want to pick up a canvas and play around, so. Originally I was going to try and make it a career, you know, um, but the money's just not in it, honestly. I know it sounds great, you know, you're an artist, you can do all this, and, but if unless you've got a lucky break in your own style, you're not going to make it. And unfortunately, I, I, I had a little Facebook community page at the time where I put all my examples up there and I had an influx of people requesting different things. And it's always, always the same, really, mostly just children, their families and dogs that had passed away. And so it was very monotonous. Nobody ever really wanted to pay what I said it was worth. Bearing in mind, I really underpriced, um, like undervalued what I was producing as well. And that the time it took, people didn't really seem to appreciate how long it took. And so I rarely spent less than 40 hours, you know, so say a minimum of a week's work. Um, depending on what you do, you probably have a rate that you would like to receive for that. But in the beginning, I was just saying like 150 quid, 200 pound. You know, all £300, I felt really guilty for asking people for 300 quid for this, you know, family portrait, which would take me 60 or 70 hours. Bearing in mind, it's a specialised skill. Not not everybody can do it. You know, I clean windows. Every, anyone can do that. You can learn how to clean windows in a day. Off you go, sorted. People weren't really aware of the amount of time it took. Like I would have been Mr. Nice but Dim to continue to produce paintings that took 50, 60 hours for like 250 quid. Mr. Nice but Dim, sit down. 
I certainly didn't enjoy painting other people's children. I don't know to have them reluctantly give me money that they thought was too much, like I wasn't worthy. And so, yeah, I, I kind of said, see you later to all of that. So, I, and I deleted all my social media during the process of like fixing myself. Um, and I haven't really looked back, you know, I'm, I'm not really interested to get involved in anything like that again. Um, if somebody wanted me to paint a picture, you know, I would love for you to paint this in color, this size, photo realistic, and I'm happy to pay you what it's worth. No problem. I don't think anyone would have a problem with that, but people just didn't want to pay me the money that it was worth. The most expensive painting I ever sold was 550 quid. And I think it took me like a hundred hours. So if you work that out per hour, it's just, it's nothing considering I have to pay for this giant canvas and the paints, like I say, wear and tear on brushes. Very difficult to justify continuing to do that kind of work. And that's what I mean when I say window cleaning just suits me and my personality. I get to leave the house, be active, fresh air, some sun when it's out. And people seem to know where they stand with me and vice versa. Like money wise, it's, it's like a fair transaction. And because you can just work fast, you can do quite well. It's not like I could just rush a painting, you know. Um, and I mean, same goes for my piano as well. I'm quite grateful that these are now hobbies that I just have my moment with the piano or if I want to paint, I can paint what I want and when I want. I'm not kind of playing what some other artist wants me to play, following them around in a studio, you know, taking three, four, five days just to get it how they want it. The moment you mix money and business into things, that can often destroy what you, you once loved about that passion. Um, so I don't really have any stress or anything like that, you know. Another thing is a lot of the, the subjects that I choose to paint as well, it's not like I can just sell that because I don't own the rights to the images, right? Um, for example, if you were to paint Homer Simpson, it's like, even though you painted it, you don't own the rights to Homer Simpson. And so it was getting a bit tricky. And I realized that really you have to just start doing commissions and people always ask me to do the same things. Mm -hmm kids, dogs, um, and we don't want to pay you much. And so it's kind of like, well, I don't really want to do this anymore. <laughs> but I am getting a little bit of a feeling like I want to paint something again. So, um, yeah, maybe a lion or something <laughs> with blood all coming out. No, I'm only joking. Um, but anyway, I hope you found this interesting. I do appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. And finally, Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's going on with you? I don't know.